Good morning. Here we are back in Booth Bay Harbor again and an opportunity to share something that's been very close to my heart lately because I've been dealing with a number of people that have, um, I guess the word is fallen prey to <clears throat> many things on the spiritual journeys, um, many things that are not of divine alignment. And I just want to speak to that, but first, we made a promise within Grace Healing, both myself, Ina Marie, Deb, Pamela, Andreas, all of us, we engage first in prayer within any of the work that we're doing. So we open now to seek the blessing and the opportunity to engage within God's love and God's holy protection over you. So we breathe deep. And breathing deep. I trust and know that God's presence blesses you, protects you, and that you will receive the words that you are intended for your journey at this time. And we look forward to sharing in these weeks ahead. And again, I want to thank each and every one of you for your amazing feedback because it is just, it is a blessing. And at some point here, I'm going to find a way to um, get all the details over to you. It's just been a very busy spring. But <clears throat> in this, I do want to say that uh, one of the things that I've witnessed over and over and over again is people's mindset toward earthly blessing. And I want to state up front that in our understanding, the measure of a person's earthly resources or earthly abundance does not define one's alignment in God. It merely shows God's grace over them. They are being graced this manner of abundance. So the reason why I'm dealing with this right now is because there are so many people that have been caught up in like cultish type experiences or religious bodies that become so steeped in judgment and casting out people and putting people off because they see that they've been able to build a big cathedral or they've been able to, oh, the person drives a Rolls Royce or they have great wealth in the decisions that they make and, and all this. And, and, in our understanding, that does not show the measure of where a person is in their alignment before God. We do see it specifically as defining the grace they have received to function in an earthly abundance. And one way to look at this is like, I know individuals that are incredibly successful in the finance game. And some of them display measures of integrity, but some of them don't, yet they're still incredibly successful. I know engineers that are incredibly successful, and I know other engineers that work much harder, with higher level integrity, walk with joy, gratitude, and abundance, yet they don't have as much as some of these other ones that don't walk with the proper attributes of the divine. And so, what happens is people start to form their allegiances with certain religious bodies or certain groups of people or certain cultish views because of the success that they display, because people want to be a part of something. They want to be part of that level of success. They want the opportunity to show the same measure and fruit. But one of the things they don't understand is they may not be walking the same measure of grace on earthly fruit as another might. I used to have somebody ask me regularly, but Larry, where's the fruit? Where's the fruit? Because they kept looking at the fact that I was still driving a vehicle that needed mechanical care or that I was not living in a palatial estate, yet I was continuing to serve thousands of people. And they were like, but Larry, where's the fruit? Where's the fruit? And I'm like, but you don't understand. The fruit is in the people that are receiving greater wisdom, the people that are receiving healing. and they. They were a religious priest and they, they couldn't get through their heads that the measure of fruit <clears throat> was the nature of walking God's living attributes. 
even if there wasn't earthly fruit, if there was an old vehicle being used to get from place to place, as they pull up to do radio programs or whatever was going on and they'd, they'd expect a certain measure of success and, and they'd, they didn't see me pull up in a brand new Cadillac or some massive SUV or some limousine or something like that. And they were wondering, well, er, where's the earthly measure? And I'm sitting there pointing out how amazing God is and what God's doing to heal this person and this beautiful healing that transpired within that hospital or this person that woke from a coma by the video, the recordings that we sent in and they played over the ear set for them. All the different things like that. that to me, that's the measure of divine <clears throat> fruit. But when people are starting to measure the different experiences that they are willing to align themselves with, what I've witnessed is people have a tendency to say, oh yes, well this, this church has great favor. And that's where it shifts from grace to favor. That they are starting to measure the earthly treasures as to how they need to align themselves with because they think, well, if I align myself with this group, I'll start to receive the same earthly treasures. And in our humble opinion here within Grace Healing, we believe it's more about aligning oneself with God. Then you will know yourself blessed in whatever measure of grace you're walking. So as I was driving around in a vehicle that wasn't in the greatest of shape yet serving thousands of people, I was truly graced in knowing God's presence within me. And yes, these people were being blessed beyond measure. If I started getting mopey and down about the fact that I was not blessed in those things or graced in the measure of earthly fruit, I would have limited God's ability to continue to manifest spiritual fruit. So again, the simplest way we like to put it here in Grace Healing is that a person's earthly blessing or earthly abundance does not show you their alignment before God. It merely shows the grace they receive from God. What we need to do as people on our spiritual journey is we need to look to how do they align themselves within the spiritual attributes of God. Are they living and dwelling within a constant state of mocking people or diminishing people? Or are they putting people down through judgment? Or are they raising people up? Extending people in love? Are they constantly diminishing people for their physical wealth or value? Or are they raising them up, seeing the nature of their holy attributes that they display in their daily walk? Are we looking upon people through love and compassion? or separation through ideology or race. And if we are truly going to function within the divine, we have to see how we are aligned within the attributes of God, divinity. That is what we believe to be the measuring stick of whether we were supposed to align somebody, align with somebody or align with a certain belief is does it come does it emerge? Does it rise up to show God? Does it rise up to show my ability to perform upon the earth? Or does it show the nature of how God is blessing me? I prefer in my heart to show the things that measure God's presence within me and how God has done these things before me. I want to be able to look and say, look what God has accomplished. Look what God has done. That is what we believe within grace healing is the measure of somebody's earthly abundance does not show their alignment before God. It's merely showing their grace. And if you want to measure favor and you want to measure abundance, please look to the things of a spiritual nature, the holy attributes, the divine nature of God as we serve people, as we walk in love. Are we here to serve or to constantly take? Are we here to accumulate or we are constantly here as a vessel to pour out for the sake of others to be increased? So that's what we have to offer this week. Ida and I were in prayer over this earlier and we're just in full agreement that it is important that you do not look upon a religious body or a spiritual group or sect 
at their earthly abundance to determine whether you're supposed to be with them or not. Please seek God first within the measure of your thoughts and your decisions, and then also measure the spiritual fruits within those groups to see if you're supposed to align with them. And we love you. We pray worship and blessing upon our God and thanksgiving through the name that is Yahweh Elohim, Yeshua HaMessiach, Abun Solo Otar Vishmakiaro, that you would have a blessed and amazing week. Have a great day and reach as you can. Take care. Bye-bye.